Uh, so it turns out that um, that overweight people uh, might be f might face discrimination in the workplace. Uh, there seems to be uh, a lot of people arguing and claiming that uh, that weight is a factor on uh, in 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 promotion. Uh, if you want to if you want to be in top management, you better not be obese. Uh, and so on. And, and New York City decided to do something about this. So uh, New York City and a number of other states are also moving in this direction uh, to outlaw weight discrimination at work. Uh, you know, this is, uh, this is uh, part of the, the big agenda that's out there of trying to control uh, and trying to tell us uh, exactly how to treat people and how to relate to people and how to deal with people. Uh, the, 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 so... Uh, you know, the argument is that weight is still not looked at from a DEI, diversity and inclusion perspective, and it needs to be. Uh, so the law in New York was signed in May. It bans weight and height uh, as uh, they characterize them as protected, from di protected classes from discrimination. So if you discriminate against somebody, or you are accused of discriminating against somebody, or you're, you're suspected of discriminating somebody based on their height, I guess if they're too short, maybe if they're too tall, um, then, uh, then, you, uh, then you could be sued, and uh, you, you can be, it, it, it is a real name. I think the only state that currently prohibits employment discrimination based on weight is Michigan. Not a state I would have expected. I would have thought California, but Michigan. Well, Cal yeah. Um, I mean, this is insanity. But once, but once the government thinks that it is in a position to be able to dictate to us how we behave in our own businesses, how we behave in our, behave in our own private property, who we discriminate against and who we don't discriminate against, th there is no end to it. Now... Uh, there are lots of different co potential causes of obesity. Some of them are behavioral and might reflect on somebody in terms of their uh, leadership skills, their, how, how, how seriously they take their own health and therefore themselves, and therefore maybe it reflects some way on, on their work. Certainly, you can imagine work environments in which weight matters. Uh, so it's none of the government's business. What happens in the voluntary interaction between employer and employee? Employees can leave and employers can fire or they can discriminate. Indeed, but once you allow, as the Civil Rights Act did and, and, and uh, the, 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 courts, the, the, the courts following the civil rights, once you allow that the government has a role in limiting our ability to discriminate based on race, yeah, no, race, it's awful to discriminate against race. Race is truly, truly uh, a characteristic that you have no control over. And look, some, some people have no control over their weight. I, I recognize that, but okay. But, you know, it's truly horrible. But once the government is not responsible for, for our personal behavior and behavior on our private property, then why not, based on religion, of course, and based on sex and based on sexual orientation, and based on gender, and all 98 genders, of course, and based on weight, and based on height, and based on colored eyes, and based on size of nose, and based on... There's no end to it. Slippy slopes, by the way, do exist all the time and everywhere. Once the government, once the state, once the collective is emboldened by law to intervene in what, who we hire, who we promote, how we promote, how we hire. There's no end to, the, to all the kind of parameters that they will try to go after you in order to get you just, you know, to, to, to behave in ways that they deem as virtuous and based on their moral code and what they think. I mean, a lot of this is pushed by what's called the body positivity movement, which, which champions what's called fat acceptance, the idea that we just accept people the way they are. And, 
I mean, I think this is such a wrong, such a bad movement and such a wrong movement, particularly given that we know that obesity is directly related to health. It's directly related to longevity. It's directly related to a, a bunch of different diseases. COVID was one of them. Shouldn't we encourage people to be healthy? Isn't that something as a culture we want people to be? Health requires less body fat. Not zero, not the kind of emaciated, you know, what is it, runway models where you can see every rib on, 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 uh, on their bones. That, that is not healthy either. But shouldn't we encourage people to, within a range, live a healthy lifestyle, live healthfully? And shouldn't we admire people who take care of themselves and take care of their bodies? Now, again, not everybody can, but the people who do, good for them. And now when there are uh, drug treatments for obesity that seem pretty harmless on the one hand or pretty effective on the other hand, these drugs as a Ozempic and Wegovy, Wegovy, something like that. Um, it, you know, it really is. It really is sad um, that that this is the attitude uh, people uh, take. Now, height, for example, is you can't control your height, and people are going to discriminate based on height. Suddenly, you don't want a short basketball player. Um, you do want tall. You discriminate for tall. You don't want tall tank drivers. No tall tank drivers. So, but yes, probably irrationally, some people will discriminate. Some people discriminate because they don't like the way you speak. Some people discriminate against you because they don't like your accent. They don't like you. They don't like, I don't know, your lips, your chin, your who knows what. When irrationality is out there, it has an infinite variety. Irrationality has infinite varieties. What, are you going to regulate every irrationality out? And by doing so, you know, you raise the cost of business and you raise the cost of doing anything and you give, you basically redistribute wealth towards lawyers and, and, um, and it, it, it really is, it really is ridiculous uh, the extent to which uh, people go uh, uh, to, to, to try to take away um, uh, power from employers try to put employers in their place, try to regulate and control everything employers do. So yeah, if you live in Calif if you live in tech in uh, sorry in uh, New York City, beware, beware, beware how you treat your short and overweight employees or tall it might be discrimination in another way or overweight employees. All right. <clears throat> 